Enfield reimagines leisure motorcycling with new interceptor oil. Enfield promises a ride that's a blast on twisty back roads, highways, and even the urban jungle. For novices and experienced riders alike, with its quintessential modern classic roadster, the Interceptor, clean lines, a classic teardrop tank, and diamond quilted seat give the motorcycle its timeless styling and the easy to maintain 648cc twin engine is built for real world riding. German police seizes man's gold Porsche says it could blind others a 31-year-old man's Porsche Panamera covered in a reflective gold foil. Finnish was seized by the German police over concerns that it could blind other drivers. The man was first ordered to remove the foil and re-register his vehicle. But his vehicle was seized after he failed to comply. The police then took his keys, papers, and license plate. Sony enters taxi-hailing business. Launches app in Japan Technology giant Sony has launched its own taxi-hailing app dubbed S. Ride in Japan in collaboration with five taxi companies. Sony claims its partners have a combined total of over 10,000 taxis in Tokyo, which is where the service is available as of now. Sony has no current plans to launch the service outside of Japan. A spokesperson said, Father-son duo behind car-selling vending machines now worth $7 BN shares of Arizona-based Carvana rose to a six-month high this week after which the combined net worth of CEO Ernest Garcia III and major shareholder Ernest Garcia II went to $6.7 billion. As per the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Carvana a seven-year-old startup sells used cars via vending machines and also its website, allowing customers to complete purchases in 10 minutes. And Uber's self-driving unit raises $1 billion. Gets its own K. Uber ATG has announced a $1 billion investment from Japan's Toyota, Denso, and SoftBank Vision Fund valuing the self-driving unit at $7.25 billion. As a part of the deal, ATG will become a separate legal entity under Uber and ATG head Eric Mayhofer will become its CEO. Mayhofer would report to a new board consisting of Uber, SoftBank, and Toyota executives.